Mm. I love that smell. Welcome, family. Welcome back to the channel, Deep Conversations Tarot. How is everyone doing? I miss you. I love you. In case no one told you today. To all returning subscribers, family members, neighbors, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. I love you. Thank you for subscribing. Because you didn't have to, but you did. So I appreciate you. And may the universe bless you tenfold in this in all lifetimes for doing so. How's everyone doing? To anyone that's new here, welcome. Nice to have you. If you like our vibe and you feel obliged at the end of this video, or you could do it now, hit that subscribe button and give a thumbs up. Let us know how much you like us. And if you want to live next door, make sure you hit that notification bell to all so that you don't miss a beat. I miss you. And I love you. 222, y'all. Ancestors, angels, guardians, guides, guides, goddesses, archangels, ascended masters, and benevolent beings. I still love you. Archangel Michael, watch over your collective. And let us know that we are protected because we're highly favored. You're never alone. You're never alone, family. I love you. Well, you're never alone. 222, y'all. I'll put this here. Well, let me see if I could just change. Oh, that should be good. Trust that the seeds of your thoughts are growing as you are nourishing them with words, feelings, and actions. I am balanced. 222. Because your thoughts create your reality, right? Your thoughts is what manifest things that's where the manifestation starts in your thoughts and in your feelings your feelings activate them right and the actions bring them to life it's funny because we got 222 i'm going to pull from these um the secret manifestation cards your thoughts create your reality you nourish them with your words, feelings, and actions. And that's why they say stay focused on what you want, not what you don't want. Because you can easily block your blessings, as I say. Or get something other than what you're trying to manifest. Because your thoughts went left. when <laughs> You're you thinking you're manifesting. Right, right? Choose where your focus is. Where attention goes, energy flows, right? Keep your mind and your thoughts focused on what you want. Not anything else because you'll bring in the wrong thing. And then you'll be wondering what happened. God still love you, but you told the universe you was thinking something else. So remember, the universe don't know anything different. It just knows it matches your thoughts. Whatever you think about, that's what it says. So you might be saying, oh, let me see. Oh, yeah, I want a new house. And you focused on it. You're thinking about how you're going to furnish it, what it looked like, how many bedrooms, everything. You know, manifest it to the T. How big you want the yard. Then you turn around and think, well, dang, I might not get approved. Or, you know, those self-limiting beliefs. So now you're playing tug of war with the universe. And the universe will know no different. So if you say, yeah, I want it, the universe goes here and conspires to give it to you. But then if you start thinking that you can't get it, the universe is going to give you more things to more reasons why you won't be able to. So just try to stay focused on what you want. 
Let's stay balanced. Right? I'm just going to pull a one, one card. Who you really are. I am whole. I am perfect. I am strong. I am powerful. I am loving. I am harmonious. I am happy. This is who you really are, who you were really created to be, right? Not stressed out, mad, pissed off, depressed, low vibrating energy. You're whole. You are perfect. You are strong. You're strong enough to withstand and go through anything that life throws at you. Because guess what? You have the power of manifestation. Your thoughts create your reality. If you don't like what's going on, bring something else in. You are literally creating your day as you go along just by your thoughts alone. That's how powerful you are. I am powerful. I am, lo <clears throat> I am loving. Sorry. I am harmonious. I'm happy. Let me see what else comes out. like somebody just not <clears throat> well what you resist persists that means whatever you passionately don't want you are inviting to you like I just said don't focus on what you don't want because you're going to draw it into you unconsciously the universe does not know a difference whatever you passionately don't want you are inviting to you. Put the power of your passionate emotions into what you do want and bring those things to you. Thank you, Spirit, for that confirmation. Because, you, again, your thoughts create your reality. Sorry, I'm just thinking I heard something here. Yeah. Oh. And know that there is more than enough. The universe offers all things to you and everyone through the law of attraction if you choose it. Do you want there to be enough for you and for everyone? Then choose that and know. There is abundance of all things. There is an unlimited supply. Each of us have the ability to tap into that unlimited in invisible supply through our thoughts if we choose to. God is an abundant God, right? The universe is infinite. You can have everything you want and then some. And so can the next one. And so can the next one. Right? At the bottom of the deck, focus on the solution. When you resist a situation that has manifested, you add more energy and more power to it. The event or circumstance can only get bigger because that is the law of the universe. To shrink an unwanted situation, put the energy and power into thoughts of what you want, okay? So again, they're telling you, focus on what you want. Thank you, Spirit, for the confirmation. Not what you don't want. Because again, you're going to draw in what you don't want easily to you. Effortlessly, the same way, continuously. Unconsciously. Stay focused, stay balanced, and know that there is enough. The universe is infinite. There's enough for everyone. There's more than enough. Okay? And focus on the solution, not the problem. Okay? If you focus on the difficulties, you're just bringing more difficult circumstances to you now. I just said this earlier. If you hold a grudge or blame someone for something in the past, that negative energy harms you, not the person. Let it all go, no matter what it is. Do it for you and watch your life get better in every area. Okay? Your job is you. Right? You can't create other people's lives for them. You cannot think for them. And if you try to force your opinions on others, you will only attract the same happening to you. So let all others create the lives they want and focus your unlimited power on creating the most magnificent life for yourself, I always say this, let people create their own karma. Worry about your own life. Mind your own business, which is you. Your business is you. Okay? Stop worrying about the past, the problem. Worry about the solution. Okay? And know that it's more than enough. Okay? Focus on what you want and, and not what you don't want. 
then know again that you are whole. You are perfect. You are strong. You are powerful. You are loving. You are harmonious. And you are happy. Because you have a right to be, right? It's your birthright. Stay blessed. Stay amazing. Because you're highly favored too. Okay? And until the next video. I love you. 222 today, y'all. Start manifesting something good in your life. You know? Even if it's something as little as a free cup of coffee. No traffic on your way home from work. Okay? Let the stores be empty when you go in. Do your grocery shopping, whatever you have to do. Just for a pleasant day. Okay? I love you. Till the next video, guys. Enjoy life.